Okay, let's play truth or dare. This laptop's not working. Dare me to get it going. So let's power it on and see what it's doing. It's not working. That's what it's doing. Oh, we're gonna get a lovely error here. And we can't do anything with F8. So I'll show you that. Let's try F8. See if we can get in and hit repair my computer. Get nothing so let's go ahead and let's just go ahead and factory default it so how I'm going to de factory default I'm going to hit this key down here F11 after I power this off so it's just right here F11 not special see that F11 so I'm going to go ahead and power it off as you see power it back on and I'm just going to keep tapping that F11. And voila. So let's see what it does from here. I have no files on here, so I'm not worried about backing up data. If you have files, you need to back up your data one way or another, either by putting them on a USB thumb drive or by um, taking a hard drive out, connecting it to another computer and um, backing up the files that way. But again, I have no data on here because this process will delete and erase every single thing on your computer and it will reload Windows back to factory default the same way that you received the computer out of the box. So we're going to go ahead and hit system recovery. And it's saying backup files first, which I just informed you about doing that. So we're going to recover without backing up files. To me, if you choose this process, it might leave whatever error or problem you initially had on the computer. This model is a Compact Presario CQ61. It's Charlie Quincy 61. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next. All devices should be disconnected from the PC except for the keyboard, mouse, and monitor. Failure to disconnect any device may cause the recovery to fail. So again, unhook any thumb drives or printers or anything that you might have hooked up. Hit OK. And this is basically the process that I just explained to you to recover your um, computer to factory condition. It has two phases, meaning once basically it's going to run within DOS and then it's going to boot up into Windows and it's going to continue to run. And it's going to format the hard drive, it's going to install all software and drivers and everything that originally came on your computer out of the box state. So we're going to hit next and this process is going to take up to an hour or so. So um, go have a cup of coffee. This will be a long process, but generally, after if you'd have made it this far, you are literally good to go. Um, you would just have to update your Adobe Flash players and things like that. I rec recommend a site called Nanite.com. And with Nanite, you are able to update everything in one full, full sweep. Just makes the process really easy. If you couldn't get to this stage, more than likely what you're going to need is a Windows 7 recovery disk. You're going to need the home premium version. So you're just going to need that disk. You're not going to need the key that comes with the disk. You're not going to need that because um, it's built in to the laptop BIOS itself so once it restores it's going to automatically enter that key but if you do use the disk you're not going to need the key off the you're not going to need to buy the whole full retail version all you're going to need to buy is the disk itself 
and the key would be located on the bottom side of your laptop and if you can't see it there remove your battery sometimes it's in a battery compartment and that's all you would need to reload it and drivers if you go this route so this route is a little bit more detailed in this step but if you can't get this that means something's happened to that hard drive or something happened to where um, it's just not um, picking up or working correctly so um, like the partition was wiped or something like that so keep that in mind but that's pretty much it that's the process our YouTube user big on you thanks for watching peace like please subscribe and um, thanks for watching